All right. So in the last video, I said we're going to fix this. I lied. We're not going to fix it. Um, the only way to fix it is to apply some of these modifiers. And I'm n I don't really want to do that right now. So I'm just going to leave it as is for now. And we'll come back to that afterwards. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select these two meshes, move, press M and move back to layer one. So if I select one, we're back to our ship. Now let's talk about adding um, kind of putting scale to this. So I'm going to throw in a person. At the moment, this ship is about one. So if we do one of these squares here is one meter. It's like two meters high, which is a lot higher than a car. Because I mean, a four wheel drive is not two meters tall. It's actually smaller. But let's import a person just for scale. So I don't think I've got, no, I don't have any extra in there. So if I go file, sorry. So I've gone to blend swap where we can download a whole bunch of um, blends for free or that other people have created. And I'm just gonna use this one very quickly. Um, and so I've downloaded it, I've extracted it. The only thing that I had to do to edit the file was, let me just quickly open that up. Yeah, yeah, sure. Is I had to set it, I had to create a group uh, for me to import it. So what I've done is I selected both these and then press control G and created a group and named it human or something, I can't remember. So let's get out of that one. Let's come back into here. I'm now going to link that file. So if I were to append that file, I would be grabbing whatever I've got in that group and putting it in this file. I don't want that. I just want to create a link. It's just going to be for reference. I'm going to open up the Zuck base mail model. I'm going to click on group and I'm going to click on human template link. So now I've got the human template. Let's just put him in the center, cursor to center, selection to cursor. So now he's in the middle. Um, and let's put him into perspective. So he's, what's that, about 1.8 meters. So I'm just going to scale him up a little bit because I want him a little bit bigger. So probably about there. So it means this ship we're roughly making about 1.7 meters from top to bottom. So now let's click on his, we don't have his um, skeletal mesh yet. So I'm gonna do Control Alt P, beautiful. And I'm going to attach his armature. And now if I click on the armature, object mode, pose mode. And now I can muck around. So all armatures are different. It all depends on whoever rigs them, put them wherever the bones go. So for instance, the main bone is here in the middle where some people put a bone in between the legs. It's all the preferences of the actual rigger. So I'm just gonna make him kind of sit down. What I can do is I can select these two bones. I can copy the current pose and then duplicate the pose on the mirror because the rigger has obviously um, written these as thigh right, this one will be thigh left. So Blender's smart enough to work out that yes, this is left and right. Oops. And let's go copy mirror. Let's do his arms now. So I'm gonna kind of probably like this, copy mirror. His arms are a little bit weird. Let's rotate that in like that. Copy mirror. All right, so he's sitting a little bit too tall. I want him to kind of probably about sit maybe here-ish. He's gonna lean back a little bit. All right, so here he is now sitting in the middle. So if I just hide that briefly 
But there's a lot of space here on the left and right. And I think what we can do here is the original concept only had a single, um, a single cedar cockpit. I think I might actually expand this to two. Then that way it helps with the engine a little bit because that's kind of like in the middle. middle. And at the back here, we can maybe make that into a bit of a storage area. Um, but let's see if we can get him to fit in there. So I'm going to move him over. And so as you can see, we've kind of got these vertices here that gives us like a center point reference. I'm going to do an Alt H. Whoops, sorry. Let's go back into object mode. Alt H. And he is still sitting in the cockpit. His head's pretty close. But I think we can get away with it. So... The reason why the driver is sitting on the right hand side of the car is because I'm in Australia and that's where we sit. Do we sit there now? Yeah, we do sit there. So this is how we're going to build the cockpit around him. So I'm just going to hide this mesh and now let's start cleaning up the insides of the cockpit. So we don't need those faces, this face, delete faces. Do I need that face? I don't need delete that don't need that face now do I need the center face I do not need the center's face because that's all in the middle of the sh uh, the engine what else we got so we can keep that one get rid of this one delete face can I get rid of that one yes I can delete face this one here, can I get rid of it? No, I cannot because it's sitting right there. However, if I turn off proportional editing by pressing O, I'm just going to lift these up because this face is vertically, it's straight. So I can move the vertices up. Let's grab both of these and push them up. So that means now I can select all these, delete face. The engine, what can we do with the engine here? Hmm. Let's go all these. Can't do that one, can we? But we need to get rid of it. Okay. So, how are we going to approach this? So we can approach this by just the knife tool again. So, K, left click. We could probably cut it all out like that and enter. And it didn't cut all the way through. So I'm going to do Control Z. If I do K, we can read it down here. Angle constraint off, Z cut through off. So if I press Z, now it's on. So if I select this now, go through and enter. All right. Now we should be able to get rid of all these. Delete faces. Okay, so we're just trying to get rid of all these ugly vertices that we don't need. Beautiful. Um, what do we got in here? Can we get rid of this? I believe we can. So if I select that there, let's deselect these vertices and move this one down through to there. Delete faces, delete faces, and that is looking good there. So this cockpit should be relatively empty. The lights are there, so we might have to fix that up. Let's fix this bit up. I did say we're going to have to get rid of that. And that looks straightforward as well. So I'm just going to select all these, delete faces. 
Beautiful, 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 beautiful. The lights. What can we do here? Can I... Can't really drag that in, can I? Ooh. Should I lift that up a little bit? G. We'll plop it there. Okay, see how much we can take out. Um, just trying to think of a way to, maybe if I do this. So what I'm going to do is, where's that face there? So I'm going to select this top face. Nope, you want to be a jerk. Select these two faces. I'm going to do uh, proportional editing connected ones because if I not do the connected one and just press O it would be affecting these I'm just going to kind of like that there we go and we don't need that face we don't need that face let's see if we can move this one in a bit and let's do the same thing Beautiful, and no one's the none wiser. All right, so now we've hollowed out the inside. Now it's time to kind of block the cockpit. 